Hi everyone, so I am here in my kitchen again. I decided to make a jailhouse burrito. You guys seem to like it when I made the prison pie and you wanted to see more, you know, of me cooking. So this one's an easy recipe. It's really super easy. So you need a bag of Doritos, okay? I like to use Doritos. You can use any type of Dorito. I personally like the nacho cheese type, right? Throw things backwards in there. And there's my kitty cat. Yep, she's definitely, hi, hi honey. Hi, Black Velvet. That's, that's Black Velvet, Velvet for short. She's probably gonna come up and try and help me make this food. Okay, so, and then also, I like to have a beef stick and a cheese stick. You can get any type of beef stick or cheese sticks. Uh, we usually get them off commissary in prison. And what else we need? Um, and the famous ramen noodle. And you can have any type of ramen noodle. I personally like it um, a little bit less spicy, so I use the chicken ramen because you're gonna use the seasoning in there. So, first thing we do is crush up the ramen noodle. And this is the fun part. So, if you guys are like having a really bad day and you're very angry, this is what you get to do. You take your fist and you crush. Whoops, that scared the cats. Let's crush over here. There we go. That like scared the cats. I can't, they just ran. Oh my goodness, it's so much easier crushing in prison. Okay, so what you do is you're crushing them up. Okay, try not to crush on the stove because it makes a really loud noise, I guess. So you're going to crush them up until they're pretty crushy. <laughs> okay, and see, what I usually did in prison is that we'd make it in the chip bag. But what I'm going to do for you is I'm just going to throw everything in this clear Ziploc bag so then that way there you guys can see what's going on. So you take the crushed up ramen. Make sure the seasoning pack is out. I did that before when I was high. Hmm. Not a cool thing to be, you know, trying to eat some plasticky stuff. <laughs> okay, so you got the crushed up ramen. Okay, make sure they're like really crushed. So these are like super crushed. Okay, and then what you're going to get is the chips too. Now, usually we crush the chips in the bag and then, you know, put it in there. But I'm going to just put in the chips and I'm going to crush them in here. Okay. So we get a couple of handfuls of these. Probably, I know, no measuring cups in prison. So you just do it to how you want it. Let's see. So I'm going to crush them. Chips flying everywhere. Maybe if you close it, it might be it might be better. So you have chips flying all over the place, and you kind of want it so that there's enough. See, you see more noodle here. You know what I mean. So I'm gonna put a little bit more chips in. I'm gonna crush these up. And that looks like a good measurement, like between the two. Like you see some chips, some noodles, you know what I mean? So next, and you can always see if you can get I don't have to eat. Okay. Next we're gonna do you shouldn't chop with your mouthful. I know you want some. Oh my goodness. Stop it. Velvet. Oh my goodness. Velvet, no. 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 Okay. So my little kitty cat wants some food. And she, <laughs> she's so cute. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed the kitty cat first. Here you go. Okay, here you go. Come here, Velvet. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? You're just gonna lick it? You want cheese instead? What do you want? I don't know what you want. Oh my goodness. Okay, back to cooking. I don't know what she wants. She's a weird cat. She eats cheese. She eats uh, cottage cheese. I don't know. I think she wants a piece of cheese. So we'll see. Come here, baby. Come on. Is that what you want? She likes cheese. You want cheese? I don't know what you... Okay, here. Here, you take these down here. Come on. Put down here. There you go. Okay. Okay. Now that's taken care of. Okay. So anyways, let me wash my hands. Sorry. Okay, so now, I wash my hands. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these, as you can see, into little pieces, just little slim pieces. Um, 
And they're all gonna go into the bag with the with the rest of the stuff. I mean, if you want them smaller, like, you know, I usually come in pieces like this, the little circles, but you can also, you know, cut them in little things like this too. Mm, it's so cute. Whatever you want. No. Just throw those in there. Oops. Okay, these will be for the kitties because they fell. Okay. Mm. And she ate the cheese, but not the meat. The cat's weird. Okay. But she's great. And we had her like almost a week now. We, I got her last Saturday. And her and Shadow get along so good. I mean, just amazing how they get along. You know, they keep me up at 4 in the morning and decide to bounce on the bed. I, even though I get home around 2 in the morning and need to go to sleep because I work second shift. But hey, that's the kitties for you. So, and then the next thing we're going to do is going to cut up the cheese too. In little pieces. So this cheese, I guess the thinner you cut it, the more meltier it would be. But I like, you, you, can, you can really add anything you want in these. What are you doing? Okay. Yeah, you can add anything you want in these. I mean, it's a jailhouse burrito. You know, throw everything in it. Okay. I love cheese too. Yeah, and definitely eat while you're cooking. It's the best thing to do. I love eating. I do. Okay. Now, I'm going to put the cheese. Cut off the cheese. Put it here. Now, I'm going to just shake it up. We got everything kind of mixed in together. Now, the key is to uh, heat water up. I thought I heated it up enough, but it's not heated enough. And the microwave's right behind this. Oh my goodness, this is going to be horrible. Ah! If anything falls, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, sorry about that. Sorry about the really big face shot there. Okay. So, we're going to reheat up the water. And what you want to do is you want to heat up the water because you need hot water to make all this stuff like get all nice and gooey and stuff and melt. So, my little kitty cat. And then what the key is to do is that you're gonna add the seasoning now. With the seasoning is you have to be very careful because if you put it on one spot, everything will taste like that. It'll be like what? So what you're gonna do is kind of sprinkle it around, like you know, a little here, shake it up, a little there, shake it up. Yes, a little here. And today is my cleaning day, so I'm wearing pajamas all day. You know, it's just my pajama day, whatever. It's my cleaning day, chilling at the house day. I don't do nothing except paint my little kitty cats. So that's why I'm in my little pajamas. Okay, so we sprinkle this everywhere. Now, what we're gonna do is take the water off. So sorry again. I know, put a, I guess such a small apartment. But the lady was super nice and she actually rented to me because I didn't have no credit when I got out of prison. Like no rental history because I was in prison for 10 years. So she was like super amazing to rent to me and give me a chance, you know. So I love my little small apartment. Okay. So anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to pour some of this water in here. But the thing is, is that you got to be careful. So you just pour a little. Yeah, like this. Okay. You just pour a little. And then what you want to do is kind of smush. Because you don't want it too runny. If it gets too runny, it's all bad. So, so you pour in a little. So that's good. Pour a little more. Okay. That's really hot in there. So and you gotta get the noodles to cook too. So what you're doing is kind of smushing and getting it all nice and Rubbed in together. See, look at all this water like right here. Like that's not good. So it's like really gooey right now. So let's see. Maybe. Okay, so I think I need just a little bit more water on the top there. Because that's not. There. 
Yeah, like I said, you don't, I mean, we don't do measuring hooks or anything like that. But what you're going to do now is, best thing you're going to do is this. You're going to roll it like a burrito, okay? So if you want to see, then like get it all nice and rolled right here. Like that. With a little, you know. And, um. One of the things we did in prison, here, I'll do it. And we don't have to do this, but this is what we did in prison. You wrap it in a towel, okay? I don't know, it's like our oven. It's supposed to keep it hot. So you take the little burrito. We'll start from, yeah, this side. You take the little burrito and you wrap it. You wrap it in a towel, okay? And then you wait about, say a good like five three to five minutes for it to cook because it's cooking in your oven which is the towel and so you wait three to five minutes and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna you can either the easiest way I do it sometimes they just slide right out you know it's got a form so sometimes they slide right out or you can just cut the bag so you can keep the form of the burrito so it stays in a burrito shape so it's up to you either way you want to do it. But there you go, guys. You got your jailhouse burrito. You also seen my cat likes cheese. So I think it was a great day. <laughs> Bye.